Welcome. Hello. Welcome back to another episode of Basic Banter for Witches. We are so glad that you've returned. We are yes. hope you're having fun like we are. Yes. We Jeff uh, and I were trying to, we were talking and I was like, shut up. We have this stuff to stop. Press record. <laughs> we're this is all... too much. This is valuable for everybody. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> we're trying to prepare for the episode for you. Yeah. And we're like, like, it's so funny. We just had one of our like little sister moments as well. Yeah. Which was like, just pure joy. Well, like, um, we're going to explain to you a sister moment. We're exactly. literally. So for today, what we're going to talk about is spirit animals. <gasps> so what that means for me, it's mm-hmm. not giving you like a full definition. It's giving, this is from me is when an animal crosses your path in an, in a very strange situation where that animal should not normally be there. I mm-hmm. always take that as a message that like, wake up. That message is trying, sorry, that animal is trying to send you a message. So mm-hmm. I have this amazing pocket guide to spirit animals that we're going to go through today. And Jessica and I were just talking about how we want to kind of break into animals that um, are commonly seen right now or in general that you're like, oh, well, today, like I was going to the dog park with my pup and there was a small black dog that decided to just like rip across the road. Um, not in the place that they would normally be because it was on a pretty busy street and thankfully the dog was fine and safe, but <laughs> that dog should have been there. Exactly. Um, and then Jessica and I were just talking about how um, she's been seeing them and so have I, these blackbirds lately that have like yellow heads. Yellow heads. It's such a, it's a neon yellow. Like it's such a like, strange looking I know. bird. I, this is the first time I saw it today and I was driving with our mom and I'm like, what on earth is that? And like, okay, Saskatoon, where we are from, Mm-hmm. very basic bird situation Legit, like, like <laughs> crows robins yeah. about it so i'm sure there's more <laughs> about it. That's pro- there's probably a lot more um the occasional oh, blue jay which we love that's mine uh but anyways uh yeah so i was driving i'm like what the hell is that so yeah, yeah and so i was like literally typing into google like what kind of bird has a bright yellow head and a black body. Well, it's a yellow headed black bird. No mm-hmm. shit. So, anyways, so I'm going to, yeah, that's when we're but like, I got it. I good. found it. Cause I'm just like, that Shut is up. where we're starting. A yellow headed blackbird. The blackbird. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Well, come okay. on. Okay. We're well, just going to start there. I'm okay. going <laughs> to, I'm totally going to look it up, but I'm going to give you the floor first. You tell me, okay. tell me all the things. And then we'll go through all the other things that we had planned, <laughs> but this is where we're starting because it's so important that we exactly. both were seeing them. And I've been admiring them every time I go to the mm. dog park with Grizzly. Cause I'm just like, what? they're striking. I've never seen them before. And they're friendly, will... like they're friendly enough that they like, don't get out of the way. They're totally <laughs> so bizarre. Like, I've okay. never seen them in my life. Yeah. Um, but, uh, we'll add a picture to our Instagram for, to match the episode so that you know what we're talking about. And it's not yeah. just nonsense, like yeah. seriously crazy. Anyways, go on. Okay. 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 So this is what the blackbird means. Let go of all of your inhibitions and sing without concern for how, how it sounds or fear of others. Disapproval. Archangel Uriel is with you, watching out for you and helping you connect with nature and nature spirits. Sound healing is one of your best treatments for whatever physical or emotional ailments uh, you're experiencing. The gateway to the world of non-ordinary reality is open, beckoning you to follow your true spiritual path and enhance your awareness of the non-physical realm. This is particularly auspicious. Sorry. Auspicious, yeah. There you go. I can't say that. Anyways, time to observe (sighs) and heed any signs or omens that are shown to you. Okay. I mean, All right. So just like pay attention. Like the, There's more to it. And that's actually quite funny. Sorry. Sidebar. It's okay. So that's actually really funny. So I was at showed up at the dog park right before all this. Um, I see a vehicle that looks very similar to a, a friend of mine, which I know she's not there, but it, mm-hmm. at first glance, I thought it was her. And then I saw the license plate 666. Mm-hmm. Today has been a hilarious number day because a friend of mine who I love to death, her name is Bev had been posting her number sign five, five, like, five. Yeah. Yes. I saw and it, like, yeah. and I was like, Oh, that's so wild. Like, I wonder if I'll have a number sign come at, to come to me soon. And when I saw that, I was like, Hmm, that's crazy. And I was like, wonder if that's to me or if that's supposed to be to my friend, uh, Kelsey, who's the vehicle would have belonged to if it was hers. And so I quickly Googled, uh, the spiritual meaning and it was pay attention, pay so, attention. Yep. I love that. So maybe that what message was for me for whatever oh, reason, man. because my life is insanely crazy Pay attention. all the time. I'm like, what are you attention to? But 
but here we are. So. There we go. Okay. So yes. I have now Googled, thank goodness yeah. for Google, yeah. um, yellow headed blackbird with a golden head and white patch on the back wings, a call that sounds like a rusty farm gate opening. The, yeah, the yellow headed blackbird demands your attention. Um, okay. So let's just see here. Oh, there you go. I wonder if there's a metaphysical meaning, but like, so cool. How was that? How was what you just said? Not a meaning demands your attention. When I said another meta, like another metaphysical. Um, okay. Okay. This has to go with the totem. So the blackbird totem. So people who hold their birth totem of the blackbird are shy, creative, mysterious, and know their boundaries. They tend to be quiet I'm sorry, quite active at night and can be identified usually as somewhat serious, keeping a bit of mystery and parts of themselves hidden. Okay. That didn't really help me. A flock of backbird acts as an omen of good changes, particularly, particularly in personal outlooks. Try to embrace this as a gift. Hmm. Thanks, Google. And Bye. what is my spiritanimal.com? <laughs> hey, work. Cool. Yeah, interesting. Well, yeah. So yes. Oh okay, yeah. I want to look attention. Up. So that pay attention. Okay, and I gotta look up this black dog also. It just, it. Since we're here. Totally. Where do I look? Dog. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You know, um, we talked about this in a previous episode and like, you know, our signs from spirit. And I had like my ringing in my ears today as well. Oh, great. And I was sitting with Ryan, my husband, and my son at I don't know, a restaurant, which one was that? It doesn't matter. Anyways, my ears are ringing and I've been like trying to like stay in that, that point of being in tune as mm -hmm. in like, okay, like what are my senses? We will discuss this at a later episode. Are our, like, um, what is it called? Claire's our clairvoyance, oh, like yes, different yeah. type of clairs in that sense. And yeah. so I'm like sitting there and like Ryan and Colin are eating and I'm like, my ears are ringing and I'm like, staring at the table like <laughs> trying to like oh, listen man. I'm looking around I'm tasting I'm like what am I tasting what am I smelling what do I feel and anyways yeah. um and what was and, it well that because of the ringing in my ears that's why I'm like pay attention to everything pay yeah. attention like what's going on in every sense of the word anyways so yeah. that was it and there's nothing oh, now that I noticed wow. not that resonated with me now but I mean oh. it was kind of like a deja vu moment because we had been there before in that same booth um Crazy. And it was just the three of us. We hadn't had our had our other child had a yet. Little so. baby. Mm -hmm. Where where'd you go? What is it called? Oh, what is it called? It used to be Chili's. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Uh, such in that place. it used to be the place where Chili's was placed. <laughs> Open place. Chili's Chili <laughs> does not survive in South. Chili's Michigan. old building was torn down <laughs> and like another one was built on top same of spot. it. That we hope has better omens because we, I really like all <laughs> is still there. I mean, it's Olive Garden. Well, I don't know. this far. So let's freaking hope it's late. It lasts. The, the, it lasts. The, it lasts. the it novelty lasts. of it, of like going to the States and like having Olive Garden is like, I don't know. I'm so past that. I'm like, so I guess I had the bread or the breadsticks and the salad and the soup today. If you're oh, wondering, okay. that's what yes. I had. Yeah. Yeah. That was about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. anyways go on with the black dog <laughs> <I'm feeling laughs> there. um yes okay well I don't really know maybe it was just by one one off because sometimes I just don't uh, trust anything <laughs> everything is a sign so, it's okay so it says keep your faith strong no matter what's going on in your life it's important for you to volunteer for something purely in in the spirit of service mm -hmm. remain determined and resolute resolute even yep. if you face some negativity or disappointment show your love and appreciation in creative ways that you're closest to and give your loyalty to those who you love and cherish i was listening i just had to sneeze and blow my nose so. sure sure i was sure, oh, that's really good okay yeah. yeah stand resolute that only reminds me of um national treasure again i think in every episode i've made reference to movie quotes and i'm so sorry if that annoys people and I'm, I'm sure that's when somebody's like i don't like that that's my life story so thank you for participating anyways resolute i like resolute. that to stand firm to stand up and i think um is that I what it means resolute i don't know if that's what it means but like i would say let's google that i don't know we're just googling everything today's episode is sponsored Our by google <laughs> oh no, ask Jeeves. Do you remember Ask Jeeves? Yes, I do. Okay. It's like that was that was a long while ago. I don't even know if that's still a 
platform or site or I don't know form of Google resolute admirably purposeful determined and unwavering she was resolute and unswerving which okay we have to talk about Roe versus Wade because that is literally and you don't want to I know you don't want to talk about we have to touch on it as women we just don't want to upset anybody no but as women it's fucking frustrating it's frustrating and it is part of it is like what we do with our bodies, what we choose to do with our bodies is our own choice. That's all I have to say about it is I'm not, my uterus is not up for discussion and up for debate because the government tells me so. No. Do you know what I mean? It's I just, chose to have children when I chose to have children. It's just so beyond frustrating that that's even, it even happened, that there was even discussion that there had to be a discussion on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The fact that it's the States is burning down and Canada is not following suit, but I mean, we have to really look at what we have going on is we don't like to get uh, political and we will, we will remain just like, you know, as we We are trying to stay neutral as possible, but like, that's fucked. You can be neutral. It's just, you got to get people neutral about politics in general. This is something that we can't be neutral about because we both have uteruses at this time. Exactly. At this time we do. Exactly. We'd like to have the right for our own bodies to choose what we want to choose. So So we're not going to throw politics at you, but we're both women who are very aware that we have uteruses and we would like to maintain control over what happens in our bodies anyways moving on i think that just has to do with the black dog is like especially these days that's where i've been is like you know and on tiktok instagram facebook it's coming from every angle and it's like you're not aware of it if you're not talking about it then you're not representing do you know i mean so i don't really do anything on social media personally very far few and far between but there you just go. sucks stupid like, if anybody up. if anybody needs help or support or needs to talk by all means, DM us because, I mean, I'm I'm sure you are okay with that. Me welcoming that if people, oh yeah, That's have uh, need help, they need help. Yeah, but also we are not trained professionals, so we will also no. help. We are here to we will liaison, banter, and do whatever. But we will also help guide you to our amazing yes. besties that are besties. professionals. <laughs> exactly, we have professionals in our ways. Anyways, yeah. um, okay, and they're all fun. Okay, okay, sorry, I totally went with it, and I had to. I'm it's sorry. It's that was my pay attention time. moment, I think. Anyway, so. There you go. There you go. Okay. okay. So, so what we're going to do now is Jessica gonna, is going to pull a card out of her <laughs> deck. And I'm, I'm going to pull a card out of the two decks that I have today. Beautiful. So, because I'm obsessed with any decks all the time. And yeah. then we're just going to pull at random. Yeah. I'm and not going to like pull for me or anybody. I'm just going to like. We're just going to literally pull. And then we're going to see what it means in the spirit. I don't know. And we'd love to have feedback too. If these, if there's any spirit animals that you're that we don't go over today, that you're like, hey, I've been noticing this animal in my yard lately, or this animal keeps coming up in dreams, or this is I'm so like, yeah, can be anything. We love it. Totally so love you, it. You you just shuffle. I need a I hot did. second, and you shuffle. I did. Oh, I sh- oh yeah, I shuffled. I have two sitting in front of me. I have no idea what they are. Should I look and make sure that? Oh, whatever. Yeah, we'll just roll with it. The shock and awe. Oh, fun times. Okay. Well, of course. Okay. <sighs> I got two earth animals. Maybe I'll pull like. Ooh. Yeah. Do that. Do another one. Yeah. I got the Maybe earthworm ex- and the snake. Do you want to quickly explain oh, the earth, what an example of an earth animal is, a water okay. animal, etc.? Um. You know, actually, as I refer to this book all the freaking time. Kim Kranz, my girl, man. Um, this goes into like full descriptions as to, you know, what qualifies an earth. Sorry, let me just go back here. Earth, water, fire, air. And then we also have spirit in this book. So earth is creatures and field, or sorry, creatures of the field and forest. Water are uh, creatures of the oceans, rivers, and lakes. Fire are creatures of the desert and grasslands air are creatures of the sky and then spirit creatures of the ether so that's like spirit elements more or less um okay so i'm just gonna like shuffle again i like it yeah it's funny that i got like an earthworm and a snake and they're both round and they're both like in a circle only because we're doing this because you see them oh right and it's it's really cool because it's almost like um yin and yang do i mean i like that yeah 
Okay, so I'm just gonna like grab one. Feels right. Okay, well that's a spirit. Okay, that one won't you won't have a thing for because it's an ether. Oh, crocodile. Um, one of my favorite songs is Crocodile Rock by um Elton John. Ooh. So and I was literally singing it today, but I was also singing Benny and the Jets. So anywho. Okay, I feel like that should be a good one that we should look up though, the crocodile one photo shop. Yep. Uh crocodile rock. All my friends. If, I hope my friends listen to this podcast and have a little jig with me. This what is our friend? karaoke. No, I know <laughs> our karaoke. Like that's like the 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 karaoke song of the group is Crocodile Rock. I remember oh, when Rock was young. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I won't do that. I would love to serenade you, but uh, uh oh, there we go. I was like, why can't I find it? It's an alligator. Slash yeah. Okay, ready for it? I'm so ready. Project- Holding on to my butt. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Take your time to digest what you're now learning rather than rushing ahead to pursue further education or gather more hmm. information. You need to be very protective of your personal territory and assertive about setting boundaries. Hmm. This is a time for renewal and new beginnings as you emerge from a dark period of your life. Be sure to gather all the facts and look at the situation situation from all sides before passing judgment, making any decisions or taking action. It's mm-hmm. an important time to honor your ancestors in any way you choose. Mm, I like that. I do too. That's really cool. I like uh, this time for renewal and new beginnings. Don't we have yeah. like a new moon coming up? I feel like we do. Oh God, I know what it is, but I don't have my calendar in front of me. Eh. Oh, um, from Kim's book here. Um, reminds us to stay, take a step back from the external world and turn inward. Um, mm. The mantra for the crocodile is wait. This doesn't mean lying around, hoping life's challenges will disappear. The crocodile is much smarter than that. It means mm-hmm. intentionally withdrawing, gathering your awareness, observing and building energy. Yeah, mm. I really well, like Which that. is exactly what that says too. Gather all your facts exactly. and look from all sides before passing judgment. Exactly. Yeah. So which really- you need to do considering there's a, um, be considering, uh, all the action that you're going to have right away. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm just going to look up the new moon, new moon, June, new 2022, moon, June. June 28th tomorrow. Oh, wait. Yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, we should you. totally do our new moon episode tomorrow. We'll have to. Ob- and in case you didn't realize we are recording this in June. <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys because, because jessica is gonna be moving across the world and we have to prepare our stuff so this might be this will be coming out mid-august well you never know maybe we'll maybe we could release it around the new moon in august how's that sound mm-hmm. there you we go can do that we can that'll actually do that. the new moon is august 27th and that is the day that i hope to goodness that we are like on a plane so or we're at backstreet boys one of the two <laughs> Yes. One or the other. It's oh. gonna be great. We are gonna have a great time. I will no have which one. Either either my I will be bawling my eyes out at Backstreet Boys alone or with Jessica. Exactly. I was gonna say I'll have tickets to something. I have tickets to BSB. You will have tickets. You know, if we get on the flight we want. Plane or a Backstreet Boys concert, yeah. I just have to say. <laughs> oh my god that's amazing it's so funny okay that's I love cool. it okay I love it that's too. perfect okay I'm gonna pull a card now <laughs> yes and please. I am going to pull at random from my animal tarot cards with oh. and this was created by uh Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine oh beautiful and a couple decks from them okay pulling at random pulling at random pulling at random do it all right Ooh, the giraffe Ooh, so that's so, so cool uh Oh, I see. It's like this. I was like, where's its head? Okay. It's there just like, go. it's like, <laughs> okay. Ooh, I like that. Hi. Okay. Let's take a look here. Giraffe. What is the message it needs to say to me? And then what I'm going to do after this. So those messages were both for Jessica and I, and then the next card we pull is for, an, for our audience and what message you need to hear. Okay. Okay. Giraffe. Keep your head up, have faith and trust your gut regarding the situation you're dealing with at present. You, you'll have to reach a bit, but you will achieve your goal. Keep your eye on the possibilities that they're, they're just on the horizon. It's better to not act too hastily in this situation. Spend some social time with friends and family and make a point to be a better listener to be 
and to be clear in your communication in both professional and personal relationships. I feel like I just got called out by a card. That you got called out or me? <laughs> yes, me. That you got called out by my card? Yeah. Why? Read it again. Keep my head above water or like it's hard to like keep your keep... head up, have faith, and trust your gut have regarding faith. the situation that you're dealing with at the present. My life is imploded in the sense of my home. So and but it's very it says keep your eyes on the possibilities yes. that are just on the horizon. Exactly. It's better to, to not act too hastily in this situation. Exactly. No, totally. And I feel that and I needed that. I think yeah. it's a good pat like, on my back. There. Well, I feel like this this card definitely hits both of us because yeah. I feel I've been wanting to, as a, if you have listened to our manifest basement mm-hmm. mm-hmm. manifestation mm-hmm. episode, <laughs> I'd love to have a new little pape and little pape. Been, a little poppers. And, um, I've been just wanting to like bite the bullet and go, but I've been also like holding myself back with like, maybe you just need to wait a little bit longer. So I feel like this is a good message to be like, it's going to happen. Yeah. All in good time. Yeah. Just like maybe in the meantime, let's just focus on other things. It's going to happen. Totally. Exactly. Yeah. There'll be a time when it's absolutely perfect Uh and it will happen. Exactly. Totally. And then on the awakening, sorry, on my card, my Mm -hmm. draft card, it says, look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily, Jessica, things will start moving again. (laughs) (laughs) Again, like, right. Well, it's all good. <laughs> I claim that energy. I'm just gonna yeah. sage the yeah. shit out of my area here. I know, right? <sighs> okay, lovely. So, you want it. me to pull one more for our listeners? And yeah, and then I will pull one from my other card, my other deck. Sorry okay. for the listeners. Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty. Ooh, Isa Bear. Ooh, it's a black. black bear. <laughs> There, uh, so I'll just while you're looking it up, I'll just read from Kim's book sure. here. Yeah. Waking from a spiritual slumber, beginning anew. Oh, listeners, this is amazing. You said black bear, black bear, bear in general. Black bear is black the bear. card. Um, but so I've yeah. got three bears. I've got a black bear, brown grizzly bear, or polar bear. Oh, I would definitely say black <laughs> bear. Okay. This is a black bear to me. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, awakening. I love that. All right. Ooh, inner okay. strength yearning to grow oh, i hope okay, this means so, that we've hit a nerve guys mm, Anyways, go on. so here in general <laughs> yeah for general set clear boundaries and don't compromise even if pressured ask for what you want whether you whether or not you feel you'll get it get going on that creative project you have in mind take some time out from your usual routines and spend time in solitude you may be in need of physical or emotional healing Be gentle and show love to those you're close to. To find answers to your questions, go inside than reading rather than reading or consulting others. For the black bear specifically, it's an important time for meditation and introspection. Balance your activities with periods of rest. Don't forget to play and allow any darknesses you discover in yourself to teach you a lesson. Mm. Wow. Yeah, this has to bring to balance movement and exercise. And when we're out of balance and needing that energy to kind of come together, withdrawal, lethargy, and heaviness. So yeah, inner reflection, individual on the cusp of new directions and personal transformation. I like it. Winter wanes, the warmth of spring emerges and your transformation begins. So I do think that that's really beautiful. Cool. I like it. Mm, That's very nice lovely and you got one more for your deck for our wait sorry for I our do. listeners as well yeah for our listeners for our Just listeners open it up it's one of my fancy book boxes all three of you <laughs> hi mom yeah exactly who knows maybe by this point we have four i'd love that and maybe down to two <laughs> maybe you know what maybe we'll have to get some merch i don't know if people want like honestly yeah. don't even tempt me with a good time i want I merch so badly i know it'd be fun I want hoodies. I want hoodies. Hoodies. Sweatpants. I would like the sweetest bunny hug. And I mm. want that with me. Wow. Bunny hug as in like like pullover style or yeah. Only like like pullover as in like pullover without the hood or with the hood? With a hood. Like you a need... classic bunny hug? Yeah. 
with a pocket. A pocket for my it's hands to rest. Kangaroo pouch. I'm sorry. I keep, I keep scratching, but it's because I'm covered in my child's food. I just realized um, I'm like, mm-hmm. if it's red there, it's because I'm picking off dried pieces of Lord knows what. Ah, yes. Food. And there's paint from my son because that was a time to anyways of course okay <laughs> sorry so animal totem tarot <laughs> from lisa robertson this one is i don't know what is this a gopher that looks like a gopher a gopher a prairie dog <laughs> a prairie dog yeah that's a good one okay all right prairie dog. I, I severely doubt that your book has prairie dog but gopher would be like in the same never family. say never it wouldn't I should take a guess. What do you, what I think it means? Curiosity, okay. quick, okay. skillful. Mm, I don't know. How much you want to bet, Jessica? I don't Prairie know. dogs in the book. Oh, it is. Wow. It is. Wow. 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 Okay. Prairie dog. <laughs> what was your guess again? Sorry for what it means. Sorry, I was blowing my nose. Um, I said skillful, quick, okay. curious. Okay. So that, okay. Get involved in your immediate community in some way through volunteer work or civic activity. Take time mm-hmm. for yourself, such as retreat for a day. Sorry, such as a retreat or a day in silence in order to recharge your batteries and get a fresh look at the situation at hand. Increase the amount of vegetables in your diet or try a vegetarian diet for a few days and note any differences you feel. You've been pushing too hard in the situation and meeting resistance all the way. So step back from it, give it a rest and see what you can get with a fresh perspective. This con- discernment is called in for the situation. Sorry. It's called for this situation. It, oh, wow. Sorry. I'm sorry. My I just brain. hit my table. So it's all good. No, my brain. Discernment is called for in the situation as to when to push forward or when to retreat. So think of a prairie dog as like hiding Ooh. when it's too much. It's yeah. okay to like go in. So what's that movie with a prairie dog and rat race? Those who know, those who know, no. Oh, <laughs> check me a second. <laughs> I got sorry. There. So sorry, guys. I was like, but, in rat race. Do, I was like, but do not oh. sleep on the movie rat race. Do not just watch oh, it. If you've never seen oh, it, please watch it. It is a good little it. laugh. Don't sleep on it. A little laugh. Oh, I remember like, hysterically laughing. I mean, to the point I of mean. tears because yeah. of all of the things in that mm-hmm. show. There were so many different things in that whole movie. It's extremely quotable. And like we rented it <sighs> like half the Fridays that we didn't rent. Um, what was that one? Oh, well, you know, we only rented like five movies scary that were movie. from. Yeah. We watched scary all the scary movies, date movie, epic movie, everything else oh. you could think of. What else though? Oh what drop, dead, drop dead gorgeous. That one or um, mm-hmm. well, I don't know. Practical of, magic, anyways. practical magic, <laughs> or any Sarah, yeah. Sarah Michelle Geller movie, which was uh, I don't know. I can't think of it. Oh well, Scooby Doo. <laughs> no, okay, I gotta which, Google it really yeah. fast. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my gosh, my allergies are so bad right now. Um, I'm going to look it up right now. Um, what is her name? Michelle Geller. There we go. I'm going to see it. And I'm going to know it exactly when I see. Oh, such a good rom, rom-com. What? Find it. Nope. Simply irresistible. You're on mute. You're on mute, Jess. That was some great audio I just gave you too. I need to miss it. Oh, too bad. Oh yeah. No, such yeah, a good or movie. Or head over heels. Cruel intentions. Or head, head over, over heels. heels. Drop dead gorgeous. Yeah. Oh. Freddie Prince Jr. My first love. Truthfully, I loved him, and I'm so glad that he's married to Sarah Michelle Keller. And, is, and they've been still married. They've got like, kids, and like they still are in I love know. with each other. I have them yeah. on social media. I'm just like, wow. I know. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyways, yes. let's get back to this. Um, okay. So 
We're both one going more. to choose it. Yeah, we're going to both choose an animal at random. Or do you want to pull another card? Sorry, Jessica. Do you? I don't know. What's easier? Card? I'm trying to think of what. I mean, what animals are around me daily that are kind of, or you know, um, okay. Again, this is like a sign from spirit. Maybe we could like do like um like a butterfly or a bumblebee That's or good. a wasp or like um. I'm trying okay, to think what I this. see. What do I see? Do a butterfly because a All lot right. of people see butterflies and I, oh yeah, do butterflies. I saw a dragonfly okay. the other day and I'm scared of. It was things. yesterday and it flew yeah. over top of both of us and you're like. And, and there was a mother watching me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you saw her, but she's laughing. I'm like, I don't really like, like the park. <laughs> I'm not okay. here for me. Anyways, go on. I don't know which one you're doing. Butterfly, but... butterfly. butterfly. Lighten up and stop taking everything so seriously. Get ready mm. for a big change. One where an old habit did I say helmet? Habit. Yeah, sounded like you said helmet. An old helmet. An old helmet. <laughs> yeah. When get ready for a big change. Get rid of that old helmet. Get rid of that old helmet. <laughs> when where an old habit, way of thinking, or lifestyle is going out and a new way of being is emerging. Mm. It's time to make the changes you've been considering. And in spite of the challenges, you'll get through this transition. And as always, know that this too shall pass. Mm -hmm. Express yourself by wearing more colorful clothing. Yeah, that this too shall pass. What is that? I um I was gifted with a beautiful little message from Jillian Harris, and um because I do suffer with uh, not suffer I have postpartum depression. I've had it for a couple of years just post-birth anyways. Um, I've had some tough weeks anyways. So my beautiful sister who was at an event with Jillian, um, sent me this beautiful message and her mother says that to her, this too shall pass. And I've been saying that to myself a lot these days. Yay, so that's yeah, good. yeah. That's don't cry, good. Brittany. <laughs> don't cry. Oh, you look like it for a minute. Okay. She was going to cry. Look at her. No, those are, I'm those medicated. Are. I'm medicated. There's no tears. <laughs> it's pretty hard to get me yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. That's yeah. That. So that, no, anyways, so I just got that, even though I pulled a butterfly out of my butt, that's like, okay. I no, get it's it. good though. And I like that because, uh, Kelsey, who I've just brought up again, um, I saw her today and I forgot that one of her new tattoos on her arm says that this too shall pass. Shall pass. Yeah. So. This too shall pass. Is this that too. right? This too. It sounded like you said something different. And then I said exactly what I thought I heard, but it was correct. Moving on. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? It's good. Guys. Perfect. Believe it I or not, we've recorded this episode earlier in the day. So I should yeah. be more coherent. And it's strangely it's, enough, should have more energy, but like here we are. More like clarity in my words. Anyways, that's okay. Yeah. Anyways. But yeah. So we're so excited. So excited for all of the other episodes that we're gonna have here with you guys. We know this one's a little bit more on the shorter side. Mm -hmm. but there's so much to jam pack that was smaller, but we love it. We want your mm -hmm. feedback. Yeah. We'd love to know any more spirit animals that you would like yeah. us to read about. This yeah. could be a two parter. We've got lots yeah. of, as they come up in our life, you know, we might even throw in the odd spirit animal card, um, or reading as a strange animal crosses our path. Yeah. So I love that. So where can, where can everybody find us, Jess? Well, you can find us on Instagram at mm -hmm. basic banter for witches you can email us at basic banter for witches at gmail.com as well as on tiktok basic banter for witches and youtube and youtube i always forget about youtube basic banter for witches boop, 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 boop. love it awesome i love Great. it wonderful perfect well thanks jess thanks brett and we, <laughs> and we will talk to you all Next time. Next time. Bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. See you bye. later. Bye.